Hey, and welcome to another Firefly beading tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you all how I like to use wire guards and crimp covers when I'm crimping off a necklace, bracelet, or an anklet, whatever I'm crimping. Um, I do like to use wire guards and crimp covers now and then. In the first part of this video, I'm going to be showing you how I use wire guards, and in the second part of the video, I'll be showing you how I use wire guards and crimp covers together. Right now I'm just opening up a little package that I sell at Firefly um, that you all can follow along to if you have the package, and if not, then um, you can follow along with your own pattern and beads. If you have this package, the first thing I'm going to do is kind of measure up my crystal strand here, and I want to find the middle, and this will help me kind of get started on my necklace. So I do that by holding an end, two ends together here at the bottom, and then finding the middle at the top, or approximately the middle, and carefully cutting that in half and putting one strand to the side and the other strand I'll be beading first. So when I'm doing this kind of necklace, I start with my charm, and then I go ahead and I start threading on my beads. If you have small beads like this, it's easy to use your wire as a needle. This is beetle on wire here. So I'm finishing up this one side of the necklace and I'm just gonna lay that down gently there. You could put a piece of tape at the end so your beads don't fall off or you can leave it open-ended like me. And I'm gonna start on my other side of the necklace. Once I've got all my beads on, I'm gonna measure and see if I've got enough beads. So obviously on this top side I have way too many beads so I'm gonna take off a few of these and then match it all up. Okay, so now I'm ready to add on one side of my clasp, and to do this, I'm just going to slide on my crimp bead here. And then I'm going to slide on a wire guard, which I call like a rainbow. So I'm going to go up through the rainbow, through the hole here, follow the channel along the wire guard, and then I'm going to go down the rainbow, or down it, the wire guard. I'm just going to pull that up, so I'll have a tail kind of hanging down like this. And then I'm going to slide on the first side of my clasp. So here's my actual latch piece, so my actual clasp. And then I'm going to take my tail and stick it through my crimp. So I've got two wires that are going to be going through my crimp bead now. So it looks kind of like this. Okay, and then I'm going to gently squeeze the legs of the rainbow together, if that makes sense, of the crimp guard, or the wire guard, and squeeze those together, and then bring my crimp up, and when it's all touching, I'm going to just smash my crimp. Just give it a good smash, it's a good term to use. I'm just really making sure that I'm closing um, that crimp up nice and tight. And then if I'm able to, I'm going to bring up two or three beads over my tail. If you can't bring your beads up over, that's okay. I'll show you how you could do this without bringing beads up to your crimp in the next part of this video. So I brought up a few beads, and now I'm just going to cut off my tail using my flush cutters. So I'm cutting as close as I can to the bead and then gently sliding down the rest of my beads. I mean, I'm just checking that there's no holes, that all the beads are laying nice, and then I just want my necklace or bracelet or anklet to lay in its natural curvy position. I'm going to grab another crimp. Um, you can bring it all the way down, you don't have to, you can just let it hang out, whatever. Then I'm going to grab another wire guard, go up the rainbow, and down. Then you're ready to add the next part of your class, which is, in this case, an extender piece here. So just a length of chain. Slide that up over the tail, and you can see how it would lay inside of that wire guard. But you're going to go ahead and take your crimp, slide it over the tail on the other one so you have the two wires inside again, like this. And then if you can bring it back through two or three beads, go ahead and do that. Of course, it's not necessary. Again, in the next part of this video, I'll show you how this works without bringing it through the beads. So it looks like this, and what you're going to do is hold your chain and hold your tail. 
and gently pull your tail. And you see how everything cinches up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze the legs again, pull a little bit tighter, and watch that crimp nestle up right to the wire guard. When everything's nice and tight, I'm just gonna use the very tips of my chain nose pliers again and just, again, smash that crimp. So really give it a good <laughs> smash. Squeeze, whatever. You just don't wanna see a you don't want your um, cord to pull back out. And after everything's nice and tight, just snip off that tail. Check everything. And that is that. Everything stays nice and loose and looks good. Now the second part of this is I'm gonna show you how I use the crimp covers in this process now. So I'm just gonna do a little bracelet here and I'm gonna slide on my crimp. In this case, it does not matter the color of my crimp because I won't see it, so I've got a gold one here. I'm gonna take my first wire guard, go up the rainbow again and down the rainbow. And now I'm gonna grab my first part of the clasp, which right here is the clasp part. And gently squeeze my legs together now it later so just squeeze it a little bit now and slide up my crimp now I don't want to bring my crimp all the way to my wire guard I'm gonna leave just a hair just a hair of space so you see how I can see the wire just a tad I want to be able to see that so I'm gonna go ahead and smash this crimp and again you want to be able to see that hair of space your wire guard might move a little bit but if I pull tight on my clasp, I should be able to see that hair space again. So see, and everything's tight. Now let's say that your wire, your tail doesn't feed back through a few beads. That's okay. If everything is like crimped nice and tight, then you should be able to just cut this tail off and leave it like that. So cut as close as you can to the crimp using the backs of your flush cutter. So like this, give it a snip. And then we're ready to add on the crimp bead. So I kind of lay the crimp down and I lay my stuff inside of it. And then I kind of just wiggle this around. I might have to squeeze the legs together of the wire guard until I get everything to lay flat inside of here. Okay, so you want everything to lay flat and everything out of the way. Then I take my chain nose pliers and I gently start to close it just very slow movements and then I come at different angles you see how it smashed the wrong way there so I'm just gonna you gotta be careful how you smash it and you just move it how you need it to move until everything closes up flush and it looks like a metal bead like this so slow movements and slide everything down and then you can take off your piece of tape or your um, bead stopper like I have or maybe you didn't have anything on the end and again, we're gonna put on a crimp bead, a wire guard up the rainbow, down the rainbow. And then I'm gonna slide on the next part of my clasp, so the other end, the little circle. And then again, I'm gonna go ahead and gently squeeze the legs, which you couldn't see here, and then bring up my crimp. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna see if I can fit these, and let's say I can't, that's okay. We're not gonna feed our tail back through, and we're just gonna gently pull the tail and hold on to our ring and gently pull that tail down. Okay, so here's where it can get a little bit tricky, because again, I don't want my crimp bead, I'm gonna squeeze my legs a little bit, but I don't want my crimp bead going all the way up. So I want, I want to see that little hair of space. I want to see that little tiny bit of space here. So I'm just going to play around with this until I get the crimp to sit where I need it to sit. So I want to see this amount of space between the wire guard and the crimp. And even a little bit um, next to the bead, just a hair space on either side. And then smash. I kind of turn everything around, check it. And um, just make sure I'm smashing on all angles, or squishing, whatever you want to call it, on all angles. Okay, if everything looks good, then you are ready 
to cut off that tail. Now we're ready to add our crimp cover. And to do this, again, I lay it down and kind of pick it up with my finger and then move everything out of the way so it looks like this. I don't want anything in the way of that seam because we want it to close nice and flush. So everything looks good. We're ready to gently close it shut. This looks a lot easier than it is. It might take practice, um, but the more you practice it, the better you'll get at it and the more comfortable it'll feel to you. The main idea is you just want to close it so that everything is nice and flush and that the bead looks round. And there's our little bracelet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it answered some questions. If you have any questions remaining, please leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to hit like or subscribe to our channel to learn more beading techniques like this. Happy beading from us at Firefly.